Hello everyone, this is Cody Lee of BlackCatBooks.org, author of Eye of the Dragon, Cruel and Beautiful, Rabbit Hole, Lauren Frey, and the upcoming Jaw of the Dragon, and several other YouTubers, several naughty YouTubers, are whining and complaining about certain recent policy changes at YouTube, namely the fact that they are demonetizing videos that have language in them. Ooh, ooh, I suppose all of you, uh, all of you comedians out there who thinks dropping F-bombs and calling people names <laughs> is a valid form of entertainment, well, now you're going to have to do it without being paid. Now you're going to have to do it for free. And I, I've gone on record about this several times. It's been a while since I've, uh, I've talked about this, but I am all for YouTube becoming demonetized for everyone. I think YouTube, uh, YouTubing as a career is just a misstep for practically everyone. Like, instead of building real skill sets or forming real connections or really putting yourself out there and building up your career, you have perfectly talented people wasting their time making funny YouTube videos that five years later... Well, 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 first of all, 99% of them will never make any money, right? Ever. Most YouTube content makes no money at all. But secondly, uh, because, of the, because of the way the platform works and the way it's constantly evolving and changing, you could theoretically have a multi-million dollar, uh, multi-million dollar YouTube channel. Something with like millions of subs that uh, draws in millions of dollars. You retire expecting this income to last you forever and then it tanks. Like, it's it's done. It's over. You're, you're no longer the most <laughs> watched person on YouTube. That's what I think is going to happen for, like, James Rolfe and Pro ZD and a lot of these, a lot of these uh, naughty, these foul-mouthed ma foul YouTubers is that I think their legacy videos, the stuff that made them popular, that got them talked about on the platform, I think eventually the YouTube algorithm is going to change enough where those videos are not... First of all, are not going to are not are no longer going to get noticed by new audiences. But second of all, uh, will no longer continue to generate income for the people who have already seen it. Like again, there's going to come a point where I think the vast majority of uh, of classic YouTube content is going to be watched through like DVDs or like through these methods that don't involve directly supporting the creators. And, and they shouldn't, you know, because I've seen too many times creators just going off the deep end and, and thinking they can do whatever they want and still be, like, worshipped by their audience, even though they haven't put out anything close to quality content in, like, a decade. You know, ProZD is a really good example of this. Like, you know, he went the Yongwei route of trying to become a legit voice actor and what and what happens <laughs> like he ends up in god of war ragnarok he gets he gets involved in all these high profile projects nobody really cares and now his youtube career is about to implode because all of his legacy content is about to be demonetized and he doesn't have the skill the ability or the time to really go back and like re-edit them make them viable for youtube or make new content you know, like the YouTube game is, I think, bottoming out like back in the day, you could like make a ton of money just by like being a fat guy in front of a camera talking about like, wow, or uh, jumping into a pool or or whatever. But these days, like that content is old and done, you know, done and dusted. Like uh, we've moved past it. We've evolved. We're, we've stopped watching this kind of thing. Like anybody with money is paying like for subscription content on be better services. You know, like we don't talk about YouTube videos anymore. We talk about like Amazon Prime content. We talk about like HBO Max. We talk about this or that. Nobody talks about YouTubers other than YouTubers. They are not as big of a deal as people think they are. They aren't influential, and outside of the little circle jerk, they're not relevant in any way, shape, or form. They're not celebrities. They're just a bunch of talentless hacks who managed to make it for a couple of months before their lives and careers completely imploded upon itself for a, wi a wide range of different reasons. I would not wish a YouTube career on my worst enemy, and this is exactly the reason why.